now we are going to create the ramp bar here uh, we're going to do it in the right and le left side so in this method we're going to use the architectural model in place so here we're going, we need to select the type or family category which is more Left. Enter. Now we're going to use the sweep solid sweep command. Click solid sweep. Select or sketch path or pick a path. So here we're going to pick this path. Until we have correct selected all this until the end of it. Now click finish edit. Select profile and then edit profile. Here we're going to create the profile of our wire. So we're going to create a rectangle. It's about 800 by 150, so if you cannot get it correctly, uh, we'll do it later. We'll set the dimension. Click it here. Let's change the dimension. 150. Now let's go to create and take a line dimension to this one and let's use the dimension. Now we're we'll at select the top part with escape with the top part and set it as 900. You can see that the select this other edge, select the dimension, that set it as 100 thickness of the concrete by Click enter, click finish edit mode. Then you have to click the finish edit mode. Now your ramp barrier has been swept into the side of the wall. You can see. Have this material as let's check the material capital and change it to concrete cast in situ. Click OK. So now we're going to do the other side, finish model. So go to architecture, model in place, select the type family category, which is the wall. Let's say barrier right. Click OK. This is just one of the method. You can there is also another method which you can do it later as another exercise. So let's see sweep. Pick a path. Select this line. The boundary. Select this line. Continue still until the end of this. Now, click finish edit, select profile, edit sketch. So here we're going to sketch the rectangular gap from the edge corner. Again, you can select this as 900. Here we can set it as 1. Fortunately, it moved on the left side, so let's move this on. You cannot move it, so it was set on a different location. Let's undo. Now, let's do the dimension, the 8 dimension. Annotate dimension. Select this side and this side. Select escape. Escape the Exit the dimension command, click the set, and type in one. So now it's 150 by 100. Click escape to exit the dimensions command, click finish. Finish edit. Now you have set again on the left side the concrete ramp bar. 
So here we can use the, change the category Complete Task AC That is how to create the ramp barrier on both the left and right side Thank you